Hello, my name is Brian Wright. I am an assistant professor here in the School of Data Science. I'm also the director for undergraduate programs. My background is in education and economics, and I'm going to talk to you about the minor. So to give you a quick background, we designed the minor in data science to be available to any student on grounds from any major, from any background, that is interested in coming and learning about data science. So it's, a, it's an open minor, it is not competitive, and we're trying to, take, uh, trying to allow students uh, from uh, a variety of backgrounds, as long as they have an interest in exploring the data science field, to come and take the minor. That's the first important part. The other one is that we uh, designed it in a way that we actually think it represents the foundations of data science. So we spent some time thinking about what those are, and then we created a degree that mirrors those. So you'll see that in the curriculum part of the five required courses essentially is a manifestation of what we feel is a definition of data science. So those are the two key points in the background. Anybody that's interested, regardless of background, can come. And then what you'll get through the curriculum is kind of this foundational understanding of the field of data science. So with that, let's talk about the curriculum. Uh, and as I mentioned, the curriculum is kind of this uh, manifestation of this definition of data science. Uh, that we've worked uh, to establish in the School of Data Science. So it has these five categories. We'll talk about the prerequisites first. They're pretty simple. It's basically any statistics or uh, probability course uh, that we offer here at UVA. And many students come in with credit for that from AP courses as well. So it's very broad. So there's many pathways in there. Uh, and we have a list of those classes on the, on the website. So uh, in starting with the actual core curriculum, there are, like I said, five categories. So the first one is going to be programming. Uh, it's hard to do data science without having foundational skills in programming. So we offer three courses there for students to, uh, to consider in the programming and coding skills. We move from programming into systems. So when we think about systems, we think of databases or data management. So we have a course there that focuses on creating data, uh, creating databases, accessing them, managing, and cleaning data. So it's kind of a foundational skill. Uh, associated with data science. You can think of this as data acquisition, right? So, and then from there, it's the one that people most commonly associate with the field of data science, and that's analytics. So we offer a, a series of courses there focusing mostly on uh, a kind of entry-level machine learning topics moving up to kind of more advanced methods courses, all right? From uh, analytics, we then move into a, uh, a category that covers both data communications and data ethics. So students can choose to take one course in either one of these categories. So in the data communications course, we offer a few courses that were developed specifically for the field of data science. And then there's a list of options in the applied ethics course, which is a uh, designed to be not necessarily talking about ethics in a philosophical in a philosophy sense, but in a uh, applied work setting space. So there'll be options there that students can choose from. All right, and the final category is going to be an applied course. Uh, when we think about this, it's like students taking the skills that they've learned in the first four options and then applying them uh, in some domain. And so students can suggest certain courses that they want to take in the domain area, or they can take the data science project course, which is uh, we put students in groups right from the beginning, and you work through four or five projects throughout the semester. It's very team-based, and the idea is to simulate to whatever extent possible, uh, life in the, real, in the real world as a data scientist. So having gone through the curriculum, let's talk about the benefits of having a data science minor. So when you think about this, uh, like I mentioned at the very beginning, it outlines kind of a foundational element that can be used in a lot of different ways. Students combine that with deep quantitative knowledge and maybe getting in a, in a uh, major already, and that puts them in a great position to go and jump straight into careers with these kind of foundational skills of data science and expand them on as they start to work. So there's that. It's a very nice thing to add to a resume when you're going out on, uh, on the job hunt. The other thing that it does is it, if students that aspire to graduate schools, it actually creates a very nice foundation to jump into some of the master's programs that are in data science. And I think uh, that's going to become a, an increasingly important part of moving on into uh, graduate programs to show that you've done kind of a bit more in the undergraduate space as those options are starting to expand. I think the final thing is that it really does a great job in developing a network. You know, so we're starting to uh, have students, a large number of students inside the minor. They're talking with each other, they're sharing opportunities, and the School of Data Science is working very hard to uh, to get students to collaborate together and then to to promote different opportunities for students, specifically in the minor. So we have kind of those three things. It can really set a great foundation when you go out into the career uh, and job searching. 
It's excellent for students that are aspiring to, to graduate school. It looks very good in terms of applications there. And then also there's a network effect that students are starting to really interact with each other and develop a bit of a, uh, you know, communications around the field of data science. So that's it. I'm happy to answer more questions for students. You can always email me at any time. My uh, email address is brianwright at virginia.edu. Thanks. <laughs>